Good morning, Grade 5, and welcome back to Art. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. My name is now changed. So my name was Miss Herring, and it is now Mrs. Norton. If you get a little bit confused, that's okay. That's normal. What we're going to do in Grade 5 is we are going to um, explore different art styles. Okay, so there's not just one way of doing art. That's the beautiful thing about it. And that's the cool thing about people too. Each and every one of you is different, you're special, you're unique, and you each have your own unique style. And that's what we're going to try and do this year. We're going to try and grow your styles. We're going to try and find things that you absolutely love. And we're going to try different things because that's how we find what we love as we try new things. So today we are going to be doing an artwork um, inspired by an artwork by Mary Cassatt. She was a well, she was an impressionist artist and it was very rare in her time for a woman to be an artist okay most of the artists were men if you've watched that sweet little video from the tate uh, museum and she grew her art style and impressionists use these broad brush strokes like this beautiful colors and we are going to try and do the same because not all of us have paint i have done a little practice for you using different um, media. So this is twisties, this is watercolor, this is um, pencil crayons, and this is the paint that we use at school, this um, temper paint, this liquid paint. Okay, so each and every one of us can do this. I have made it so that each of us can um, accomplish something. Um, and I think that's about it for me for now. We're gonna go into the little um, demonstration now. It is important for each of you to watch this, please, just because we're all learning these new techniques and styles together. Okay, so we're going to look at how these all work. You do not have to do this. I'm going to do it, but please watch it. And then we're going to go into our lesson um, with our little duck. Okay, so hopefully you've watched the Impressionism video by now. And let's get into the little demonstration with the different media. This section is to help you see how to use the different media that you might have at home. I know we're all at home and we all have different things available to us and that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do in this part is I'm going to show you how you can create a similar sort of effect using different media. Twisties. Is we're going to start with our twisties because I think that's what most people have at home. So I'm going to choose yellow, I'm going to choose red, I'm going to choose blue and I'm going to choose this dark green. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my twisties in this one in the corner. So this towel is for my, when I'm painting, so I'm moving it just for now. Right, what you're going to do is the Impressionists didn't just color the background one solid color. What they would do is they would start by doing brush strokes. So we're going to imitate brush strokes with our twisties. I'm going to just fill in this box using twisties and then we're going to use different media in different boxes just to help us um, with our artwork today. So these are all our backgrounds. If you're using twisties, I don't mind if you um, cut the paper. It might be a bit easier because this might take a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just um, creating little like almost rectangles of color and then I am adding them in to add balance. Okay, so balance is when a picture looks um, complete. So it's nice to have yellow here, yellow here. And I might actually add a little bit of yellow in here as well. Okay, so I'm going to time lapse this and then we'll move on to the next media. So this is what it looks like. It looks cool. It looks like the sunset is being reflected. And then over here, I tried something different and I really like it. So what I did is I painted and I dabbed this textured towel, this little paper towel on it, and it gave that beautiful texture, which I really like. So boys, never be afraid to experiment. We can learn something new every time. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you watercolor. Okay, so we're gonna start with our lightest color first again. So our lightest color is yellow. Okay, so we're gonna use yellow and we're just gonna do sections of yellow like before. 
And I'm going to add a bit of white because white tends to brighten up a picture. Okay, it adds a different dynamic, it makes it a bit brighter, and that is what the Impressionist style is bright and beautiful. So that's what we are doing today. I'm going to add in my red without even washing my brush. So here we go, adding in my red. Look at that. So you see the white makes it a little bit more pale, which is very cool. So add in your reds. Maybe like, let's join it up like that, maybe. Okay, now I'm going to add a bit more yellow. Now we're going to add in some green. Okay, now green and red are complementary colors and they will create a sort of brownie color if you mix them together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to wash my brush and I'm going to then add in my green into this picture. Okay, so because my box is so small, I won't be able to fit so many colors. So maybe let me add a bit of blue and then a little bit of green um, just because of the space and red and blue will mix nicely together. Red and blue mix purple. Okay. Look at that. All the different colors that come up and you'll discover so many beautiful colors. You know in class when we mix our colors together and then at the end we can all squish them all together and see what they make. This is a really cool exercise for figuring out the color mixing as well as painting. Okay, let me get my green, add in a bit of green in here. So this pond looks like it's either reflecting the sun or maybe um, the, or the sunset or maybe some beautiful flowers. And it's really cool, you can play around. And the nice thing about it is that nobody's will be the same because everybody is doing something, um, is mixing their own colors and making their own thing. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna add a little bit more green. Here we are, this is our watercolor. This is my watercolor experiment and this is my um, twisty. Now we're going to do our um, pencil crayon. So. I am going to just do the similar thing with the twisty. I'm going to add in my reds. Um, the thing about pencil colors is that it is a lot lighter, so you're going to have to press a lot harder. And I would suggest you cut your paper for this one as well, just because it will take quite a long time and it's not as quick and easy as watercolor. The nice thing about watercolor is that it shows how the impressionist will just blend on the paper as opposed to mixing in your palette. Um, so at least you get to see that today. And when we get back to class, I'm going to teach you how to use acrylic paint. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just do a time-lapse of me doing this, and then we will move on. Okay, so this is what this all looks like now. You can see the beautiful different things. Even pencil crayon is pretty. I mean, it is different, um, but it does have such a beautiful effect. And I think it's the colors. The Impressionists were so good at using colors. Now, what I'm gonna do is finish off with our tempera paint, our normal paint that we usually have in the classroom. Let me zoom out so you can see. So I'm gonna have blue, yellow, and red. These are our primary colors, and I also have a white. So I'm going to start again with my lightest color, which is yellow. Um, and then I'm going to add my white to it. You see how all the different paints behave. They all behave a little bit differently, but that's okay. It's such a nice thing. You now at least can see the difference between the twisties, the watercolor, the pencil crayons, and the paint. Okay, now because red and yellow mix so well, I'm adding my yellow in, just dabbing it in on top, okay. The tempera paint, I'm gonna add a bit of white now on top of this even. The tempera paint um, behaves differently to other paint because it dries a more chalky feel. So it'll have a more matte chalky feel at the end. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just pause the video, finish off with the time lapse. The end results. So, twisties, watercolor experiment, watercolor, how beautiful is that? Pencil crayon and tempera paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do mine in tempera paint because that is the most common paint people usually have. 
Um, and that's the paint that we usually use in the classroom. When you come back, I will teach you acry acrylics, but for now, I think it's easier if we just stick to these ones. So if you only have twisties, absolutely perfect. I've shown you what to do with that. Maybe just cut your paper in half before you start. Let's dive into the lesson now. Now that we've seen all the options, it's time to create our art. This is a deep space sparkle lesson inspired by the impressionist artist, Mary Cassatt. Step one, draw your duck nice and big. There is a step by step to help you, but you may draw whichever duck you would like to. Right, so I've done very faint drawing in pencil colors and I'm gonna go over it in crayon now. Our duck is going to be green, so I've decided to draw my duck in green. So I'm going to put a time lapse now, draw my duck. Time to do our background. boy so you can see the background now I'm all done look at the sunset in the sky and then the more bluey greens in the bottom just be careful when using um, your paints don't mix complementary colors together because you will get a brown um, so just blue and um, orange and like green and red um, they will make brown when you mix them together so just be careful we don't really want a muddy pond today now what I'm gonna do is paint my duck you can paint him however you'd like or colour him in however you'd like and then I'm going to time lapse it now and then say goodbye. Okay boys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Um, this is my duck. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. If you haven't finished, please don't worry. Okay, I will give you this lesson and then time in the next lesson to finish. I will give you something really small to do for people who managed to finish this early, but I don't want this to be a stress. This is a really fun activity. Um, it doesn't matter if it takes a little bit longer. Okay, and hopefully this little demonstration helped you. And um, if you do need to rewatch it at any point, you are welcome to. Okay, have a lovely day, boys, and we'll see you next week.